Hi guys, I'm here with Richie today to take him on in some kicking challenges and hopefully learn a bit more about the boots he's wearing too. Traditionally more the tens with the, the preds. The preds the pre I'm the wearing predators. today, yeah. Um, Why is that? Do you prefer to like get the, the running game focus or are you? Yeah, sort of for me part? it's sort of a bit more comfortable for me. Um, I find that these ones a bit lighter. Oh, uh, okay, um, so you're trying to back the running game essentially. So yeah, yeah. That's the primary focus. That's the primary focus. Uh, if it was kicking, no doubt the preds, I've kicked in them. Yeah. They feel a lot better. They come off the boot a lot better. You get more of a, a solid impact at contact. Yeah, yeah. you do. And, and um, you definitely feel it, like in your contact of the ball, sort of that snap that comes through, it's yeah. a lot better than than this, but... Um, well, let's test it out, shall we? We'll test it out. So first of go. all, we're gonna go for the crossbar challenge, classic drill. Don't go over, go on. I've gone big again, God, every time, too much. Oh. All right, got to learn from my mistakes here. Oh, pressure's on. You got one. The pressure's on. Oh. <laughs> you got under. The dead duck strike as well. Right, that's one nil to Richie. We'll move on to some goal kicking. What is that, bit of right to left? Yeah, what? Oh, it's coming back to us. The side. breeze is coming this yeah. way, yeah, for sure. Here we go. Oh, it's coming around. Just like that. Oh, good start. Another best strike nice. in the world. That was we'll nice. All right, Richie, so you use quite a low lying tee. Yeah. And obviously that puts your foot in a better position to square up at the point of contact rather than getting into that um, forward facing position. Is that because you like striking with the instep of your foot? Yeah, I, I like it a bit more here. It's sort of the, it's a way of plant. If, I, if I'm really kicking to touch, I, I don't really like to go straight on. I'm yeah. always quite side on. I noticed that with your your um, your plant foot as well, you plant quite deep yeah. on the ball rather than coming in too shallow. And that really squares you up here rather than I prefer to kick with a shallow plant and hit with the top of my foot in here. Yeah. Is that that's, because of like... That, that's the, sort of the difference too. Like for you, that's probably works because of the way the, the, the ball lies up. Yeah, know? exactly. Because I have mine so low and I'm basically like that. Yeah. And of where I'm kicking on my foot a bit further is it's probably about here. That's actually quite a nice spot there, right there. But we'll go off the cone anyway. Yeah. Um, Just got to get some more width in the plant, I suppose. Yeah. Look to hit a bit higher up. Probably got to hit a Do bit higher up. Do you want to hold it for up. you or are you good? That's all good. Great strike. Making it look easy peasy. All right, I'll take you back a little bit then, sorry. So you're definitely an, an in step kicker then you'd like to kick with that larger surface area that the boot provides yeah 100 percent like for me if i was kicking off something like that um i'd find myself probably leaning back a bit more yeah and pulling it left um because that's where i, that's where yeah, I like, you to, like to flatten your foot yeah. out a little bit more that's fair and where are you you i like to stay i like to plant shallow yeah so i'm hitting on the up so yeah. I'm hitting more with the top of my foot rather than the instep. And again, people say that um, the knuckle of your foot's harder and yeah. things. I don't, your foot's hard yeah. enough as it is. Yeah, 100%. I just find that if I'm uh, hitting with the top of my foot, I'm pulling with my quad forward yeah. rather than hitting with my groin. That makes sense. <laughs> you have more of like a traditional footballer strike, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. That'll do. But again, I came quite square on on that. I felt like I hit... Like these boots, to be fair, the grip element on top, like you said at the start, they yeah. really help you get that more punch behind the ball. And I've trained in boots like that where I've kicked, um, you know, crossfield kicks yeah. or anything straight on. Yeah. I feel like those are just a, a lot better, Could eh? Gives you that more behind yeah. the ball, for sure. All right, I see what you got, mate. The pressure's on, eh? I usually... There's no point doing it on this field, but before I put my tee down, just to get a bit more of an angle, I always sort of, I do this, and then I put the edge of the tee, and you it sit just it back, it right, okay. back a bit. So then I get more of that. Sometimes when you're on a flat surface, the tee that I use doesn't really give you that. It, yeah. It sits up high. 
So I like it kind of like that. Yeah. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't describe you as like a, do you know how you have like a classic Johnny Wilkinson upright yeah. ball on? So you're not traditionally like that. You're still hitting through that, I'm still, that vertical axis yeah, of the ball. Yeah, it's, it's almost like, it's just lower. It's yeah. just lower to the ground. Yeah, interesting. And you still find that's fine in your in your RS7s. Do you feel like you get more of a barefoot sensation kicking in those? Yeah, I definitely do. You feel your feet a bit more. And for me, the way I like to play, it's a lot is built around my running game. You like to connect with the floor. And feeling more, yeah. fast and feeling light. Um, you know, if I feel like I'm in sort of gum boots or a bit heavy, then it yeah. just affects everything. <laughs> running around with cement on your feet. Yeah. I'll do my normal run up actually. Feels like I'm kicking off a road cone, to be honest. Yeah, it's very high up there. Doesn't miss. Cracking stuff. All right, time to put the pressure on. We'll go for one more. Here we go. These are the ones you want as a kicker. Are these? That's a great question, actually. Do you enjoy Time's that up. pressure? How do you deal with it? Oh, I, I love it. I, I think I, th I think you'd be the same, you know? You grow up kicking a ball, goal kicking, um, you're in your backyard or the local park, and you dream of situations of, of game on the line and, and needing to get the nudge over, so. That's interesting you say that, because like often when you're kicking your backyard and you dream up these situations, you want to be in them. But when it comes back to kicking in those situations specifically, yeah. you're trying to get away from that mentality, aren't you? You're trying 100%. to think just about the process, no? 100%, and I think as kickers, um, you can do so much overthinking, you can complicate things. Yeah. You know, when I first started kicking professionally, I had a checklist of about 10 things that I was like, yeah, do this, yeah. do this, do this. And, uh, you know, it wasn't until someone from you know, from one like Ronan O'Gara just said, you know, just step back and bloody kick the ball, you know? And it's- It's as simple as that, it, isn't it's it? It's a mentality, and especially European kickers, they're the best in the world. Um, guys that have a process, but- um, Do you have any key cues that help you when you're kicking in game? Yeah, one is snapping down on the ball. I'm quite low to the ground, but for me, it's just this first part when I approach the ball, it's, 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 it's that. Sometimes, so it's more of a feeling for you than a, than actual technical detail? No, nah, if I'm snapping down on the ball and I feel like this is really strong just in here, because my tendency is when I don't do that, I get worried about the outcome. Yeah, and what start I start to do is I start to guide the ball. So you, you're kind of just guiding it. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, so the difference between that and, just and that to your line, is, yeah. is, is huge for me. That's interesting. It's more of a, it's a, a mental thing about the, the feeling you're generating rather than just I'm thinking plant here, kick there, but yeah. it's just like, just hit the ball hard, just hit, hit the it well. Hard. It's just, it's just good connection. And I know that when you're up here, all I know, if I get this part right, I don't have to worry about that. That's what I that. say, yeah. You know I, I mean? focus, when I'm kicking, I'm drawing a line through the ball from point to point. Yeah. Because I know if I kick that right. Yeah. Because people talk about a J swing and a C swing. Yeah. But realistically, if your timing's on, yeah. you can kick in a C swing and you can still get it straight. But of course, it's just the, uh, the difficulty of getting that timing. Well, spot. your start of run up, your start of the kick is there, and they say the end of the kick is when the ball hits the ground. But this is the most important part exactly, of the kick. Yeah. This, you know, this is what makes it go over a knot. Completely. So, wow. Well, so no that. pressure. But yeah. <laughs> just after all that talking, let's see if I can do it. <laughs> Press is on. Oh, it's the best strike of the day. But I just pulled it round a bit too I'm much. Just had to say it. It's it sounded good, eh? It sounded good. <laughs> All right, do you want one more? We have one more, eh? Put me away. Finish me off. Off my road cone. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of right to left in my kicks, eh? Just a little bit. Got to put that back a wee bit. I'll just go short right Pressure's on. In the millennium. Well, in the principality. Principality. For 79th minute to win the game for the All Blacks. Just gonna have to smack this one, I reckon. Right post. Oh! And he does it, he sneaks it in, that bit of left to right, class, buddy. Really good stuff, mate. That's awesome, why you get the big bucks. Thank you, man. Good stuff. <laughs>